In this video, we'll take a look at the different ways to synchronize and access files through a Cronus File Sync and Share. There are three primary ways, web browser, uh, desktop sync clients for Windows and Mac, and then mobile apps for iOS and Android. First, let's take a look at web browser access. This is pretty straightforward. So you can manage folders, upload and download from here. Let's just create a new folder. And I'm going to set this to not automatically sync. And I'm going to go drag a couple files into that, upload. And so those are now stored in the cloud. Uh, they are not currently syncing down to other devices because I have that set to be un unsynced. I click that, tell that to sync. It will start to sync within a few seconds. Come over here to Windows. We've got the Files Cloud Sync Client, which is tied in with the, the regular Acronis agent if, if it's being used for backup and other purposes as well. Or you could potentially just see the UI for the files portion if that's, that's the only part that's being used. So this shows that that folder was automatically synced down once I told it to do that from the web browser. And then within this folder, uh, within a few seconds, we should see those, uh, those files come down. And there we go. So there are those files. And then if we add, say, another file starting from here, again, within a few seconds or so, we'll see that that should sync up. And so now that is accessible through the web interface as well. And now let me switch over and show you the view from an iPad. Here's a view from the iPad. This is the Acronis Files app for iOS. We go into it, we'll see that it's connected to the cloud instance and I have access to those folders, including that one that I just added and those files that are in there. These can be viewed from here. They can also be annotated, edited. You can create new documents uh, from iOS and Android and have those sync back. I could also sync a folder down here for offline use. So if I say sync this folder, have the choice now of making it a one-way or two-way folder. Two-way means that changes made locally would sync back up to cloud. Now it's confirming that I do want to sync. And now on the left, we see that that is set as a sync folder that I could access uh, offline. Also within the app, there are a number of settings that can be used to refine the way that it works and the way that uh, files are synced and displayed. Yeah.